hi guys welcome back to battle structures and today we'll be solving an example of a force method for static indeterminate structures in this question we are asked to draw the moment diagram by using force method first you need to be sure this structure is a statically indeterminate structure to be able to use these steps in the previous video I made on the steps of the steps you have to go through when using force method was first find the degree of static indeterminacy and secondly find the primary structures and so on and so forth so first let's find the degree of static indeterminacy we know that in this reaction in this support we have three and for this one we also have just one reaction force so the degree of static indeterminacy can be found by summing up the reaction forces which is four reactions minus the number of re equations the number of equations are three so in when we sum when we sum up this we have just one degree static indeterminacy this means that we are going to just select one redundant force to obtain the primary structure a quick reminder primary structures are always iso isostatic or they are always statically indeter statically determined so for the primary structure the first one for the first primary structure i'm going to remove this I'm going to remove the moment at this support, okay, and call it x1. So now x1 is my redundant force. Since this reaction has a moment, I'm going to take it as a redundant force, and now this support changes. Instead of a fixed support, now I have a simple support here, okay, a simple support with just the horizontal force just a vertical force so now let's check the degree of static indeterminacy for this we notice that this now becomes an isostatic system where we have just three reactions minus three equations equal to zero that is what we want we are looking for a statically determinate structure okay let's look at another primary structure this time I'm going to maintain this fixed support here I'm going to maintain it as fixed and I'm going to remove the reaction force here I'm going to remove this reaction force then turn it into a redundant force so it means that there will be no more a support here there's just going to be a redundant force here x1 this is the second primary structure. Let's draw a third primary structure. For the third primary structure, I'm gonna, what can I do? I want to release one, one force from this structure to make it statically determinate. So let's see, I can put a hinge here, right here. I can release the in, I can release the moment, the internal moment there and since I'm releasing the internal moment there, I'm going to have a hinge there and I'm going to call this moment, let me change the color to red, I'm going to call this moment x1. So now see, let's find the degree of static indeterminacy for for the third primary structure here we have three reactions and here we have one reaction so in total we have four reactions plus three equations minus one hinge this becomes zero so it means it's statically 
determinate okay so you cannot directly solve a statically indeterminate structure you need to change it to a statically determinate structure then by using compatibility equations you can then solve the statically indeterminate structure okay we are done with the primary structures after you select various primary structures just pick the one that you is you think is best for you so i'm gonna choose um, the first primary structure I'm going to choose this primary structure to continue working with it it doesn't matter the primary structure you choose if you choose primary structure 1 or primary structure 2 primary structure 3 your final answer is going to be the same your final moment diagram for the statically indeterminate structure is going to be the same so don't worry on which primary structure you want to choose so I'm going to choose the first primary structure so in the next step what we have to do is from the previous video I made you need to pick your primary structure and take your redundant force which in this case is x1 take it as equal to zero then put only external loads on it so let's see so what you can see here is just my primary structure without x1 because x1 is equal to zero and with just external forces what we need from this structure is the moment diagram because of just external forces so first we are going to find the reactions here we're going let me call this va okay and this is ha and that is vb Okay. okay so now let's find these reactions we know the static equilibrium of equations are three which is sum of forces in y-axis equal to zero so let me write that equation sum of forces in y-axis equal to zero what do we have we have VA plus VB if this direction is my positive direction VA plus VB minus 10 times 3 equal to 0 to change this distributed load into a point load it has to be Q times L okay Q times L um, for distributed load So we're done with this equation. This equation is going to give us VA plus VB equal to 30 kilonewton. In the next equation, we know the second one is sum of forces in x-axis. x-axis equal to zero. We have HA and just 5 kilonewton, which is also positive. 5 equal to zero so ha is negative 5 kilonewton which means that the direction of ha has to change the next the last equation is sum of moment um, let me clean that for the moment equation i'm going to take it as point at point a okay assuming this point is a I'm going to take my moment at point A. So I'm going to get sum of moment at point A equal to zero. Choosing this direction as positive. So VA is going to VB, sorry, is going to give me a positive moment. So VB times three minus this distributor load is going to give me a negative moment so it's going to move clockwise okay I chose counterclockwise as my positive direction so 10 kilonewton is going to move the structure clockwise so it's going to be negative negative 10 times 3 times the distance of the resultant force 
here is 1.5 so times 1.5 and also the 5 kilonewton which is a horizontal force here is going to cause a negative moment I'm going to write 5 times the distance from this horizontal force to point A is 5 so it's going to be 5 kilonewton times 5 meters this is equal to zero there's no other force causing the moment at this point so vb now becomes equal to let's see um this minus that is 23.33 kilonewton um, please, while I'm solving it, try also to solve it yourself, and I think that will really help you solving together with me. Take a piece of paper and solve together with me. So after we found the reactions, we found VB, we found H HA. Let's try finding VA. So what's VA from this equation here VA is equal to 30 minus VB so VA is going to give us 6.67 kilonewton so we did something good here we found the reactions and time is not on our side I have just a little bit of time so let's just um talk about the moment diagram okay the next thing to do is draw the moment diagram before we draw the moment diagram let's perform a check we need to check whether all these answers are correct so we use the moment at this point we use some forces in x-axis we use some forces in y-axis so let's try taking moment at any point on this structure if that moment is equal to zero it means all your reactions are correct you can now move on it's better to check these reaction forces before moving on or if it's wrong all your answers after this point is going to be wrong so first let's perform a check I'm going to perform a check at point B at this point here at this support so at this support I'm going to write the moment equation at that point so I'm going to write sum of moment at B equal to zero taking this direction as my positive moment okay so here we have we're going to have 10 times 3 times 1.5 then we also have we don't have 5 kilonewton causing the moment because 5 kilonewton is acting on the same line as point b okay so we are going to exclude 5 kilonewton and move on to VA VA is going to cause a negative moment so we're going to write negative and VA times 3 what about HA? HA is also going to cause a negative moment so negative HA sorry HA is going to cause a positive moment so positive HA times 5 which is the distance from HA to B 5 so let's check this to see if it's 0 here we have 45 minus VA is equal to VA is equal to 6.67 kilonewton times 3 so minus 5 times 5 yes this is equal to 0 so we can conclude that everything is fine all these reactions are correct I'm out of time so we'll draw the moment diagram in the next video thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe bye